I'll start this video by showing you what these lights look like and before I turn the light off so you can actually see what they look like in the dark, I'll warn you, they are flashing, so there's going to be a bit of flashing going on. Let's take a look at them in the dark. And I have to say, it's a nice enough effect. It's a really common effect for the Chinese lights. They tend to use just alternating colour, red, blue or green, red, uh, and it just alternates between the two colours. One of them though, where is it? Uh, I can't, there it is, there has decided to do red and uh, green simultaneously, so it's actually putting out both colours at once and not flashing, which is a nice enough effect in its own right. OK, back to the main video. So the reason I bought these lights is I was quite taken by the covers, and it's nicer still that you can unscrew these caps. They can be reused. And inside is the classic mains voltage style light. It's got a little resistor in series of six of the caps, and then it's got a focused LED uh, on the end that shines through this sort of slightly grubby looking. It's, it's not a nice finish in the plastic. I wonder if they could clean up. Uh, but it projects that pattern. It's, it's okay in a dark room. It's not too bad. Um, the listing for these, let me just grab that. They came from eBay. 12 LED stage fairy garland string lights wedding Christmas party decor uh, hot sale etc. Again, the price has gone up since I got them, £8.75. It was a wee bit cheaper than that. Um, and that's about all I can really say about them. Let's uh, take a look at the power supply. So I shall unplug these. I plugged them into this little adapter because when it arrived, they were dead. And the wiring is excruciatingly thin. There are components that cause me a bit of concern. This is a one-amp fuse, isn't it? It lessens the bang. You guys want a bang, but that's fine. You're not getting one this instance, not yet, anyway. So that uh, flex is ex connected with excruciatingly thin cable to this little power supply, which uh, the fault was that the excruciatingly thin cable had actually detached in there. It was just floating on the main side. But inside here, let me just uh, zoom up on this and then focus on it. That's all you're getting. It's a bridge rectifier with a capacitor across the output. I thought it was going to be a very simple capacitive dropper using a very pushed capacitor, but instead that is across the output. So that little capacitor there is seeing the full mains voltage, but it is low value. It's only 10 nanofarad. Let's uh, zoom back out and go back down to there. So that then feeds in the usual arrangement. It's quite odd here because there's three wires coming out. This might just be so it holds its shape better. But there's three wires coming out, but it's basically just forming a series loop around these. And of the six caps, the first five of them have that little resistor tucked inside. And the resistor is tiny. It's one of the little eighth watt resistors. And the value is quite high as usual with these. The colour code is yellow, green, red, which is quite odd. Uh, that suggests, if I'm reading it from the right end, uh, which I will be here because that would be enormous otherwise, yellow, green, red is going to be 452. So 45 and two zeros, 4,500 ohms. And that's fundamentally it. The LEDs they're using, the self flashing LEDs, the reason they've got that little capacitor across the output is because if they don't have a, a, at least some capacitance, as the mains crosses the, the zero crossing point, these would all reset, so they just stay in one colour. Uh, can I demonstrate that? I could demonstrate that, couldn't I? I wonder what if what it'd be like. Let's uh, let's do that. One moment, please. So I just hugged the capacitor out, and they are actually still flashing. It must just be the capacitance of the cable uh, is enough to do this, because usually with these things... Uh, you'll find they, they alternate backwards and forwards, particularly the colour change ones, and then they just keep resetting randomly to the uh, first colour. But in this instance, they seem to be doing okay. That's all right. Another thing I found, uh, sometimes these lights, when sunshine hits them, if you've got them strung up in a room, and some light comes through, it'll actually interrupt their operation, uh, particularly if they're on the edge with this. So that little capacitor wasn't super needed. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to show you the schematic for this so you can see how they're wired. And here it is. Main supply come in, they're rated for 220 volts. I'm just going to lick my finger and this is probably on high drink, but no, the clouding appears to be inside of that. Or is it the solvent that's been used as actually the vapour of the solvent has actually made the plastic a bit sort of matte. It's not, it's not optically good, but it's good enough. You can see the sort of effect of the, the studio light shining on it. 
Uh, uh, do you know what I also want to try now? I want to get this off and stick a light in the end and fire it through it and see. Yeah, it creates dots. It creates a, a nice pattern. You shine a decent power light through it. But anyway, bread direct fire converts to AC to DC. There is that little capacitor to try and improve stability. Then they've got these uh, resistors in the first of the six LEDs, and then it's just the LEDs in series. For some reason, they did include that extra core that just basically runs in parallel to one end. It's very strange. But if you work out the six 4,500 ohm resistors and the fact the hopper is displaying an RMS value about 8 milliamps means that the dissipation works out as roughly 288 milliwatts per resistor. Let's say 0.3 watt. I would only rate these resistors as being an eighth of a watt. It's a shame they didn't actually put a resistor in series with every single one, but I see this a lot in the cheapy Chinese lights. They're almost designed... For those resistors to fail and you do see sets that have been in use a long time uh, strung up in shops uh, that those resistors have gone black inside the sleeving and failed uh, maybe it's just a way to make them fail quicker that sounds conspiracy theorist doesn't it but that's it i got them for the covers the covers are not as clear as they could be but other than that it's quite a nice little cap and it's designed they've obviously put the wires through i don't think they've yeah, they've, they've put the wires through and then they've terminated it into the sleeve uh, so that it then can't come back out again. Usual arrangement. Big blob of solder, huge blob of solder inside that resistor. But there we go. They were worth getting to take a look at. They're not particularly inspiring, but having said that, as you saw at the beginning of the video, they do kind of look okay. But they're not bad. They're a nice sort of visual effect. Um, and very typical of the sort of lights that you get uh, from China, you get these little strings of odd ones with a small number of caps. Some of them do have a bit more circuitry in here. They'll have a slightly bigger module with a capacitive uh, dropper in it. But uh, a lot of them just seem to work on a bridge rectifier and then just resistors in series with LEDs.